What up? It's your boy NWP, and uh, today I just kind of wanted to talk about the situation between the disparity of, of ARs and uh, SMGs. Now, a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about if you play the game a lot, you know. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, check the description. I got a link in there for a giveaway, and uh, it's $50 in your favorite gaming currency. It's up to you. Check it out if you want to. But, uh, yeah, guys. Um... You know, I'm going to start releasing more templates and stuff like I did earlier. So if you want to do that, throw some thumbs up in the, uh, throw a little like spike up in there for me. Another, uh, let's say 20 likes. If we can get 20 likes on, on any given video, um, that comes out in the next week, like I'll release two animated overlays. Just, uh, completely free. So, yeah. But, uh, let's talk about, like, for real here. The Vapor was nerfed pretty substantially. I would argue that out of all the ARs, it was nerfed the most. And it's still probably one of the most effective weapons in the game. Now, the ICR was also nerfed, you know what I mean? Like, there was basically a blanket nerf on all the ARs in a sense, but... I want to say that, I, that the, the patching went perfect for the ARs. And when I say the patching went perfect, well, let me explain this. Now, I don't think that, that their intention was to make the weapons unusable, as we've seen happen many a time in many games, and, you know, whether it be a weapon or an ability or, you know, any type of situation. If that when changes are made, sometimes it gets so bad, it's just like, well, that sucked. I can't believe you did that. And I don't think that was the intention that they wanted to go for here at all. I think they wanted to make it something where the, the weapons felt almost identical. But in the statistics, when you look at it, the actual breakdown statistics, everything was a little bit more congruent to what they wanted in. See, there's going to be like a, a pattern. Like if you if you were to look at like an equalizer, uh, you know, when you're playing music and it's fluctuating up and down. That's kind of what they're, they they get for kills and deaths in, in a sense with bar graphs, and they look at that and they go, well, do we want where do we want it to be with what weapon spreads and stuff like that? And I do think that they started to see you know the the kill the, the kill ratios with how many bullets were actually hitting target, getting to where they wanted, and as such, they did a perfect job on this. But at the same time, I feel like they completely dropped the ball on SMGs, which I, I get because SMGs could easily be changed from, you know, um, mid to close quarters weapons only to literally being the most dominant weapons in the game as happens in almost every COD. We have an SMG and some burst weapon that are just completely absurd and the burst weapon requires you to be like on host or on a really good connection, etc. And then, you know, you just laser beam people down. But... That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about just straight up overpowered weaponry. And what weapons, uh, you know, actually seem overpowered. Now, I would argue that a lot are not functioning as intended in the game. And I do have some points to that, which I'll bring up right now. Like, a sniper rifle's aim assist is too strong. Okay, it's just, it's ridiculously strong. The... Uh, shotgun with a flashlight on it is absolutely like why would anyone have that and we don't you know like have it on availability on a lot of different things it's just one weapon it's it, there's just some choices made that were not uh, really uh, complementary to the game in my opinion and when you look at the SMG situation they are literally just nerf pellets that are shooting out of those things that's literally what it is it's little nerf pellets that you're shooting out at everybody and they're not doing any damage they're not they're definitely not getting you multiple kills and you know people are going to say well the you know the sog nine millimeter yeah it's like okay one smg doesn't mean that the rest of the guns are working properly or that even that one is working properly now it's noted that there is no headshot bonus for whatever reason on the uh SMGs in this game, which doesn't make any sense. Every gun should have a headshot bonus, and uh, you know, I, I honestly think that a lot of you know, this in you know, other games, uh, people prefer that instant headshot kill, 
I don't really think it's a complimentary thing to have, to a shooter game to have to hit somebody in the head multiple times. But you know, people love COD. I enjoy COD. You know what I mean. But at the same time, if you're not going to put that headshot bonus on the SMGs, and then you're going to make the damage the already significantly lower because it's usually, um, well, it, more or less, it's like it's basically like they're like it's usually Taking not Charlie. like this. It's usually get a sniper and, helicopter you know I mean? on the head. <laughs> and I just like, Charlie secure. Enemy has a. Enemy Seraph kill. An SMG is going to take six bullets to kill. No bonus to get shot. It's just basic. In, in a close range, it has the fire rate about the same as the Maddox. Is not good when the Maddox is going to do the same thing or faster. Bravo, lock down. Sniper's nest, I'll stand by. The same rate of fire, the same speed, you know. Now, I will say, yeah, okay, there's weapons with operator mods and like really different gear subject, but that's Resubs not good to go. the compliments that you do with the operator mods that are unique, but it, again, this leads me back to the Neutralized ray gun. Once they gave us that real customization of perks and all that stuff. Hold still, kills come goes. That's all you want. Hostile down. Able to step backwards in terms of loadout. We know that uh, attachments on kill streaks is not that great. Right? Kill streaks is a little weird. Losing Bravo. Um, but we have yet to see true loadout customization since Ghosts, where we have a ton of different perks. Enemy the amount of perks you have to choose. Taking like say like twenty people that are all you know. Hostile attack deployed beacon online. Um, all of the If you Take actually it look at it, there was there, there would be very subtle variations in what perk they were using. You know, in the, in the, in the, we call it the throwaway spot, but it, it's not really a throwaway spot. It's bagged and buried. And because of that, uh, I feel like you know, any type of stuff. Being, I, I feel forced to use optics If you've made it this far into the video because you're a god, obviously. And tell me how you feel about you know, our SMG situation because they really are the most dominant weapons in the game. We could just go ahead and like, throw so tactical rifles in there with the ARs and say that they are also performing fairly well. I would say the ABR is what it's supposed Rapid to be. Let's go on. It's just a dog's to be Attack, close quarters and mid-range the sniper has destroyed by enemy disgusting. Still, the Nedra's nerfs and the, uh, you know, the augers. Just Crash like, authorizing you know, attack chopper tasking. Yeah, you know, it is absolutely overpowered. Operation but, complete. Uh, that's just nice me, work. Like, you know, like, I'm not really, you know, an absolute authority, but I do have strong opinions, and, uh, you know, how do you guys feel? That's gonna cut it short for me, guys. Here's two videos.